Joe is yelling at the top of his voice and David's gone down to the, the, the creek and picked up a couple of stones like he's going to, you know, throw a stone at a dog or something like that. And that's what Goliath says to him. Am I a dog that you're going to throw a stone at me? And um, anyway, puts it in the swing. You, you know the story. Puts it in the sling and he lets it go and, and the stone goes off and probably gets supersonic by, by God, I think. And it hits Goliath in the temple and he falls down. And, and Goliath... There's, there on the ground, he's probably, he's probably not dead yet. Maybe he is, maybe he isn't, doesn't matter. Because David runs up to him, takes his own sword out, probably struggling with it because it weighs so much. And David's only a 15-year-old boy. And, and he cuts his head off. Blood everywhere. I mean, you know, could you imagine a bloke nine foot tall, how much blood he would have in his body? And it's all coming out of his neck. How cool is that? Oh, they should make a like a, a movie. Cuts his head off and holds his head off up, and all of the Philistines see this 15-year-old boy holding the head of their biggest, dirtiest, mongrelist fighter in the air, and they're like running for their lives back to Philistine. Because they don't want to meet him either. And if a 15-year-old boy is like that, what's the rest of them like? You know, look at it from their point of view. I guess I said all that to say this. Have you got Goliaths in your life? There's a God in your life. And God can use the smallest stone and supersonic it and hit your Goliath in the head Amen. and knock it cold. Come on. And God did that for David so that you could have it done for you. He did it for David so that you would hear the story and know what God was like. You see, God wants us to know what sort of person he is. God is the sort of person who helps people who are facing Goliaths. God is the sort of person, he's tricky. See, he, he chose a 15 year old boy and a rock, a stone. That's tricky. That's very, very tricky. Nobody would suspect a 15-year-old boy with a stone of being able to conquer a whole army. You see, but the whole army of the enemy had put their faith in their Goliath. And the whole army that's set against you today. And let's face it, there are armies set against us. There's situations. We've got family situations. We've got work situations. We've got... We've got no money situations. We've got no power situations. We've got no friends situation. All those things are armies and they're facing, they've put their trust in the Goliaths that are against you. And God is able to take a little stone that you could just pick up because it's not the stone that's important. So it's not just you, it's, it's me too. There we go. Mm -hmm. God is able to take your little stone and supersonic it into your Goliaths. Amen. And you know, I know what this is like because I've had my Goliaths in my life and I've still got them. And I've got to trust God every day to kill my Goliaths for me. I've got to trust God every day to kill my enemies for me. And my enemies don't actually really look that much different from anybody else's enemies we all face the same crappy enemies they're just big and ugly and too big for us if you'd like God to supersonic your stones if you'd like God to help you by killing the enemies whatever they are the Goliaths in your life you know what? He just wants to do that. And he's really good at it. 
He's really good at it. And you know what? He can do it for everyone at the same time. So he can multitask. If you'd like to bow your heads. If you'd like to ask God to kill a few giants, to kill a few Goliaths on your behalf, pray this prayer. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, I'm sick of these Goliaths. I'm sick of these Goliaths. I'm sick of my enemies. I'm sick of my enemies. I'm sick of not having enough power. I'm sick of not having enough power. And I ask you. And I ask you to supersonic my stones. To supersonic my stones. And kill my enemies. And kill my enemies. And in return. In return. I promise. I promise. I'll love you. I'll love you. In Jesus' name. In Jesus name. Amen. 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 Now, if you prayed that prayer this morning, it's the first time you've prayed it, come and tell Matt or Andrew or old mate over here, his name I've forgotten. Chris. Chris. <laughs> or someone else. <laughs>